How's it going, my peeps? It is now time for the raw results slash highlights and review video. I'll go over the results, some of the highlights in my opinion, and give you guys my thoughts slash my review on the show. So it kicks off with Stephanie McMahon and Triple H coming out, and they address what happened last week, saying that without them on the show, things were chaotic, uh, everything was a mess. And then a few moments later, Randy comes out. And he starts yelling at them, blaming them that, you know, for, for what happened to him last week with the Big Show choke slamming him through the announcer's table, telling them they should be protecting him, protecting him better. And Triple H gets it in his face, and he says, who do you think you're talking to? And that's where Randy messes up and says the WWE champion and the face of this company. You know, keep in mind, Triple H was asking Randy who he was talking to, not who do you think you are. <laughs> so... Yeah, and Triple H kind of uh, afterwards said, uh, you mean the face of our company. And anyways, uh, eventually Brad Maddox and Vicky come out. And they're obviously nervous about what's going to happen to them. And Brad Maddox says, as a man, he takes responsibility for his actions. And then he says, uh, but what happened last week was all Vicky's fault. And then Stephanie uh, says that as their punishment, they're going to be in the matchup tonight, both of them. Brad Maddox, or actually, she starts with Vicky, says that Vicky is going to be facing off against the Divas Champion, AJ, while Brad Maddox is going to be facing off against Randy. And the matchup is right now, Brad Maddox tries to leave, but Kane comes out and, you know, kind of grabs him and is like, nah, you're, you're going to get in that ring and face off against Randy. And Triple H tells Brad Maddox, and just so it, it's, it's a fair match for you, we're going to make him no disqualification. So anyways, once they come back from the commercial break, Brad Maddox is facing off against Orton. He's not in ring gear. He's, he's in, pretty much in his suit. And he actually gets some offense in, on, on Randy. He hits him with a microphone. He hits a DDT on Randy, but Randy kicks out. And once he kicks out, Randy just snaps and rages. He grabs Brad Maddox, throws him all over the place onto the announcer's table, the silk steps, and then he hits a DDT from the barricade onto the floor. Randy then grabs the microphone, puts Brad Maddox back in the ring, and starts beating, beating him up, hitting him with the microphone like 20 times or something onto the head, so the referee just stops the matchup, so Randy wins. And then after that, once they come back from commercial break, you see Brad Maddox getting stretched out, and you see Vicky Guerrero just looking at Brad Maddox, and, you know, she's scared for her matchup. And then after that, it was Biggie Langston versus Curtis Axel for the IC Championship. And Biggie Langston came out to, I mean, it's the same theme, but kind of remix. It, it sounds more, uh, like it's more, uh, it's quicker now. or so, I don't know, it just feels, I don't know, but freaking, it's a remix theme. I don't want to talk about that too much. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good matchup. Curtis Axel hit a sweet drop kick in the match. In the end, Curtis Axel goes for his finisher, but Biggie Langston pushes him towards the ropes, hits his clothes on, on Axel, then hits the big ending, covers him, gets the 1, 2, 3, wins the matchup, so Biggie Langston, new Intercontinental Champion. So a big pop too when he won the title. Anyways, afterwards, backstage, Randy's with the Shield, he tells them he went to uh, the Authority, and they agree that the Shield, they want the Shield to have Randy's back at Survivor Series, so... The Shields, or Roman Reigns, says, all right, if that's what the the authority wants, that's what they'll get, but you need to have our back, you need to have our back also. Randy agrees, and that was it for that. And then the Divas had a musical chair segment or whatever, and uh, first one eliminated was Natalia, afterwards Alicia Fox, and then they started fighting, pushing each other, and in the end, the total Divas take all the other Divas out of the ring. And JBL in commentary. The crowd was chanting Jerry, Jerry towards the end. And JBL, I think, said something along the lines of, I would be chanting commercial. Anyways, afterwards, following that, it was Ryback versus Big Show. Yes, Ryback versus Big Show. A match I actually thought was going to happen at WrestleMania last year, or maybe this one. And this matchup, highlight of this match, is Ryback actually hit the shell shock on the Big Show. He hit it the same way he hit it on Mark Henry, so he didn't he didn't really start it off with a fisherman into, you know, putting them on his shoulder or putting the Big Show on his shoulder. He did it like he did to Mark Henry at WrestleMania, which is still really impressive. He hits the shell shock, goes for the cover, but Big Show kicks out. I was actually expecting Big Show to kick out just because, you know, he's going into a championship matchup. Uh, this Sunday, so yeah, Big Show kicks out, 
and then right back takes down his straps and prepares for another shell shock but big show pushes him away pushes him towards the ropes and then once right back comes back he hits him with a knockout punch covers him and wins the match and right after the match, Randy runs towards the ring, gets in, but the Big Show sees him and spears him. So uh, whatever Randy tried to do, failed. And after that backstage, Zack Ryder's talking with a band, 3MB come up to them, and now they're dressed as like cowboys, and their new name is Rhinestone Cowboys or something like that. And after that, it was a tag team. Actually, no, before that, Randy was backstage, and there's a doctor next to him, he tells him, yells at him to give him some ice, he gives him some ice, and then yells at him once again to give him some more ice, and then he, he's yelling, and he's mad, he's, he's asking, where was the shield, they were supposed to have my back, and then he also says, where's the, the authority, uh, and then he says, well, you know, it looks like I'm gonna have to do this on my own, he, he was raging during the entire segment, and then he tells the doctor to just get out, and after that, was the tag team matchup it was the real americans versus kofi kingston and the miz and like right when the match started michael cole on commentary said that his sources uh said that when asked about this matchup both kofi and the miz said they would prefer having singles matches tonight anyways uh and, and i figured that would that would lead to something in this matchup uh, i definitely thought you know he didn't say that for nothing so anyways Towards the end of the match, by the way, at some point in the match, Kofi Kingston hit a sweet looking, uh, he countered into a Tornado DDT or a DDT, and the counter looked pretty damn cool. It was pretty unique, I didn't see anybody counter uh, a move into a DDT like that. And then, Kofi tries to reach The Miz for, for attack, to tag in The Miz, and The Miz started pulling away his arms slowly, and then Kofi does that jump into a tag, but The Miz just gets off the apron and, you know, leaves Kofi on his own and then smiles and laughs. And then Jack Swagger locks in the ankle lock on Kofi Kingston and Kofi taps out and The Miz just watches on and with a smile on his face. So it looks like The Miz is back to being a heel. And th that isn't too much of a surprise, seeing as how, you know, he kind of turned heel at a house show or a live event uh, recently. Following that, backstage, you see Vicky knocking on the trainer's room, and then right away, she pretends like she's passed out. So they check on her. Then once they come back from commercial break, she's on a stretcher, but Stephanie McMahon tells them that, yeah, you, you know, uh, send her to, straight to the hospital right after she has her match. And then Vicky sc starts screaming, and they actually roll her out to the ring in the stretcher and when it's once AJ comes comes out they roll her in the ring out of the stretcher and then the match goes on and right away Vicky once again pretends that like she's passed out asks for some water and then runs away from AJ AJ eventually grabs her puts him back puts her back in the ring and then locks on the Black Widow and Vicky taps out right away after the match, Vicky once again pretends like she passes out. And then after that, backstage, Triple H is with Damien Sandow and Dolph Ziggler. And he tells them he knows he's they, they've had their differences. So tonight, they're going to face off in a Broadway brawl. Now, he's not sure. He, he doesn't even know what that is. But he wants them to make it enter entertaining. Now, moving on to the matchup. It was actually a fun match. Uh, it, pretty much, the matchup was... A no disqualification match where they can use a bunch of weapons actually uh, I mean a bunch of instruments musical instruments actually they were all in inside the ring all the instruments drums uh, keyboards uh, freaking electric guitars everything and in the beginning of the match up uh, at some point like uh, a few minutes like two minutes or so after the beginning of the match Dolph Ziggler went for a top rope move on Damien Sandow but Damien Sandow kind of I think he grabbed Dolph Ziggler from the top or I don't know if he grabbed Dolph Ziggler from the top and threw him on it or if Dolph Ziggler jumped and Damien Sandow ducked I don't remember but bottom line Dolph Ziggler from the top rope fell on on top of the, the keyboard and broke it and most of the matchup, Damien Sandow was, you know, had the edge. He had, he had the advantage. He was dominating most of the match, and they used pretty much all the weapons they had, all the, all the musical instruments inside the ring, and 
you know, they use the guitars, everything. I actually thought that maybe Damien Sandow would win the matchup. Especially after Dolph Ziggler went for the zigzag on Damien, but Damien countered and then also grabbed Dolph Ziggler and shoved them headfirst into a steel chair that he put in between the turnbuckle. But Dolph kicked out of that, and in the end, Dolph Ziggler started picking up some momentum. He grabbed uh, two drums, a pretty small one, and put Damien Sandow headfirst through it, and then grabbed the big one and hit Damien Sandow with it, he, and he popped headfirst through it as well. And then lastly, and by the way, uh, a cool you know reference by JBL is on commentary. He said, you know, where did all these guitars come from? Uh, did Double J leave them? And to end the matchup, Dolph Ziggler grabbed the guitar. He did the Jeff Jarrett taunt, and then put the guitar through or broke the guitar on top of Damien Sandow's head. Covered Damien Sandow while he, while he was still through the freaking drum. And got the victory, won the matchup. After that, backstage, Randy uh, goes up to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon, and he asks them if they still, uh, if he still has their confidence. And Stephanie McMahon says, "Actually, we were just talking about that, and we don't know." So after that, John Cena comes out in a sling to address his, I guess, uh, status for Survivor Series, and uh, he says, you know, he hypes up the matchup and says that. He will, after Survivor Series, he will still be holding the World Heavyweight Championship and say the champ is here. And then Del Rio comes out and he says, Oh, you know, that was a great speech. You know, it almost made me cry. And then John Cena says, Good, because I'm going to make you tap this Sunday. And Del Rio says, A real champion takes advantage of every opportunity. And then he gets in the ring and he says, And I see an opportunity right in front of me right now. And then John Cena says, You're right. A champion takes advantage of every opportunity. Then he takes off the sling and starts punching Del Rio. He goes for the attitude adjustment, but Del Rio kind of gets out of the ring uh, and runs away, runs off the ramp. And yeah, so John Cena lured Del Rio in, but Del Rio got out of harm's way. After that, it was a tag team match. Our Truth teaming up with a debuting Xavier Woods versus 3MB or the Rhinestone Cowboys. And it was Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal of 3MB in the tag match. So uh, in the match, in the end of the match, Xavier Woods hits a front flip into a clothesline and then hits his finisher, which I believe Michael Cole said was called a loss in the woods. And uh, it was pretty much Gail Kim's finisher. He hits that finisher, except when Xavier Woods does it, he kind of jumps before hitting that kick to the jaw. So he hits his finisher, gets the win for his team. And then after the match, he grabs Heath Slater's uh, freaking hat and glasses, puts them on, puts them on, and starts dancing along with our truth. And then backstage, you have Randy with Triple H and Stephanie once once again, and uh, they tell Randy, "All right." After thinking about it, they do have confidence in Randy, and since they do have confidence in Randy, this Sunday at Survivor Series, there will be no shields, and pretty much Randy's gonna be on his own, and. Hey, if Randy can pull it off and beat the Big Show, then he'll have everybody's confidence. Randy then confronts Triple H and says, You know, I'll show you confidence. After that, Florida Georgia, Georgia Line perform. And then it's time for the main event. A 12-man tag team match. It was Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, The Usos, Cody and Goldust versus The White Family and The Shield in an epic 12-man tag team matchup. The... the this, the real epic part of the match was the ending. It was freaking chaos. Finish finishers everywhere. Uh, you had a freaking a Dean Ambrose hits his finisher on CM Punk. Goldust breaks a pinfall. And then Roman Reigns spears Goldust. Um, and Cody hits the crossroads on Reigns. And then he tries for the disaster kick on Seth Rollins. But Seth Rollins dodges, hits the powerbomb onto the turnbuckle. And after that, I think CM Punk hit the go to sleep on Seth Rollins. I think. No, actually, he didn't hit the go to sleep on Seth Rollins. He picked up Seth Rollins in a spine buster position. So Daniel Bryan hits the clothesline on Seth Rollins, kind of like, you know, the heart attack. And then, what? Man, what finisher was next? Oh, yeah, after that, I think Ro Rowan and Luke tried to interfere. But the Usos took him out to the outside, and then they both jumped on top of Luke and Eric to the outside. 
And then to end the match, uh, CM Punk had to go to sleep on Dean and our boys covered them and won the match. Epic ending, and it wasn't over there. It, it 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 was not over there. As much as as much as that was epic, it was about to get even more epic. And uh, at this point, the real Americans come down the ring and they attack CM Punk, Daniel Bryan. They're outnumbered. You know, you've got the Wyatts, the real Americans, the Shields. But then. Rey Mysterio's music hits, and he returns, he comes back, he comes running down the ring, he helps everybody, he, uh, he helps the faces clear the ring, he hits a double 619 on Luke Harper and one of the members of the Shield, and then right after the 619, CM Punk follows that up with a go to sleep on Luke Harper, and Daniel O'Brien follows it up with a high knee, a running high knee, uh, to Luke Harper, that was an epic ending, and then they celebrate, cool ending to the show, uh, cool ending to the main event matchup, and then after that, a Rey Mysterio return and ep an epic, you know, finisher combination. Cool, just a cool freaking ending. That was an awesome ending. Just like the the ending with uh, Shield versus the Wyatts, which was last week, I think. Yeah, I think it was last week. Yeah, it was last week. So, anyways, what did I think about tonight's show? Any highlights? The show was full of highlights. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not even joking. You had Biggie Langston winning the Intercontinental Championship right back, shell shocking the Big Show. You had uh, freaking the main event, the, the main event matchup. That was an epic matchup, especially the end sequence with all the finishers. And after the match, you know, Rey Mysterio returning, the freaking 619 followed by GTS, followed by the running knee. And also you've had, you had The Miz turning heel and Xavier Woods making his debut. And also the Broadway brawl between Damien Sandow and Dolph Ziggler. That was a fun match to watch. So if I were to give tonight's Raw a rating, I would give it a damn good rating. I would give it a 9 on 10, maybe even a 9.5. So we'll keep it in between then. In between that, I mean 9 to 9.5 on 10. It was a really good show. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, you can click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I'm out, guys. See ya.